Hey guys, this is Moni from BT Magic um, and our topic of discussion today is uh, if you should speak fast or slow in BT speaking. So after my first video on YouTube, I've actually received a lot a lot of messages asking me if I should speak that fast. Test takers were told uh, different things, you know, some were told to speak slow and uh, speak fast. Um, however, before I um, answer this question, I just wanted to show you a video um, recording of the read aloud part um, which was completed by one of our students and uh, you can have a guess uh, what score did he get for his speaking including pronunciation and fluency okay as we progress into the 21st century communications are becoming faster and faster think of the millions of different media images you are bombarded with every day it's as important now to be able to read and make sense of those images as it has been to be able to read ordinary texts. In the past, wars have led to inflation and higher commodity prices. Fighting disrupts trade and prevents raw material from being shipped from one country to another. In Second World War Britain, a banana was the height of luxury. His speed was average, um, but his pronunciation was perfect. Um, and he did make a mistake in Moxie, but he still uh, got uh, 90 for that. And even in the real test, he got 90 for all four skills, um, even fluency and pronunciation. In the past, war have led to inflation and higher commodity prices. Fighting disrupt trade and prevent raw materials from being shipped from one country to another. In Second World War Britain, a banana was the height of luxury. In the past, wars have led to inflation and higher commodity prices. Fighting disrupts trade and prevents raw materials from being shipped from one country to another. In Second World War Britain, a banana was the height of the luxury. So what do you guys reckon? <laughs> uh, they actually both received 90 uh, for pronunciation and fluency even though they both spoke a bit uh, differently um, one spoke uh, like was uh, one had a monotonous style of reading and another one tend to stress on the keywords in the sentence but um, the first one spoke a little bit fast and the other one at her own pace um, and within 15 to 16 seconds. So as I mentioned before, uh, since last year, a lot of uh, marking criteria have changed. Uh, the system, you know, every system, every AI system in the world is upgrading and it's getting better, it's getting smarter. Uh, so obviously before you could speak faster and still receive very high score. But now if you speak too fast, it might have negative impact on your pronunciation, which in turn leads to reducing marks in your reading, um, in read aloud, and uh, retell lecture and repeat sentence because computer can't catch what you're saying. Uh, you can use um, different tools uh, to see how computer evaluate your, um, you know, speech, like dictation IO or speech to note. Those two are quite. Good uh, to like for speech recognition. Uh, not as good as the Pearson one, but at least you know um, how your pronunciation is going. So practice makes everything perfect, and uh, I really hope that this video will help you to achieve your target score. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye.